What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Dermy Wormy. And Bob Iger just doesn't know how to properly... It always has to throw other people under the bus. Doesn't know how to properly take the blame and just accept when uh, they screwed up. Okay, they screwed up. Because we're continuing to talk, not just the Marvels, but we're talking about what Bob Iger actually said in regards to Disney failures right now. And the fact that Bob Iger doesn't know how to outright accept that he is to blame for every current situation going on at Marvel. Okay, because he still blames Bob Chapek. He's also, I shite you not, blaming COVID for the reason the Marvels flopped. The Marvels su su uh, suffered from a lack of supervision on the set, says Bob Iger, Disney CEO, admits studio has made too many sequels recently. Not only does he say we need more cooks in the kitchen, essentially, we need more executives involved. He said the reason the Marvels failed was because of COVID and we weren't allowed to be there on set to make sure that everything was going according to plan. Not like uh, you can look at any of their other movies in, past, in the past few phases in which they weren't just recording stuff on a set. Uh, we can look at, I, I believe, Multiverse of Madness was recorded pre-COVID and situations like that. Uh, I also believe Black Widow, Shang-Chi... Uh, what, what else? Thor, Love and Thunder might have been. These all were done before COVID, but their situations continue going down. But l l let's actually read what he had to say. The Marvels was shot during COVID, Iger explained. There wasn't as much supervision on the set, so to speak, where we have executives that are really looking over what's being done day after day after day. But you mean none of your guys could have like Skyped in, Zoomed in, did any of that to actually make sure things were going according to plan? I mean, that's what your uh, d director did because she was also working on a film at the same time. So she had to do Zoom and Skype calls. So none of you guys could do that? Oh, apparently not. Apparently it's all just COVID's fault that this movie failed. No, it was just an awful movie. I'm actually one of the few people that says it wasn't woke. There's uh, messages, there's slight messaging throughout it. But the problem is it was chopped up all to heck. So there is no messaging. Le legitimately, all their messaging ended up getting cut out because it had to get cut up because it was a garbage movie. They knew it was a garbage movie and they still put it out. But don't take my word for it. Take Bob Iger's word himself. And so I think that's one thing. Second, in our particular case and specifically about those films some of those films they were not as good they were not as high in quality not everyone that you mentioned oh they're talking about uh, all the past movies that have come out that disney has uh, flopped actually uh, almost every movie in the past few years have flopped for disney arguably guardians um uh, mainly this year arguably guardians of the galaxy broke even but that was just due to word of mouth every other movie has flopped so he's outright saying that oh this is all, well, these were poor quality and stuff like that not all of them but they the, for the most part they were just poor quality and as as some of their predecessors our films and as they should have been particularly in this environment why do you think that was well the marvels was shot during covid there wasn't as much supervision on the God, you just gotta love the fact that he's blaming COVID for the reason his failures have come about. He he can't accept his own faults. Now, some people are gonna be coming out saying, well, he was in charge during COVID. He wasn't in charge during COVID. And my answer to you is, he was still on the board of executives. He was still in the exact same office. He was still there doing the exact same stuff. Bob Chapek only existed to be a fall die, a, a fall guy. You want to know why I know that is? We'll come right here. Bob Iger criticizes Disney's move under Chapek. I was disappointed in what I was seeing. This comes from the exact same meeting, the exact same situation, the exact same interview, because this comes from when they were talking about pulling, uh, ads from Twitter and everything like that, which uh, I agree with Elon Musk, go F yourself. But on top of that, not only is he sitting here discussing all that, he talks about what happened during JPEG. And you scroll right down here. 
uh, I was disappointed in what I was seeing in the transition period and while I was out. You weren't out, though. You were still there. You were still in the exact same office. You were still on the board of executives, and you're going to be blaming Bob I uh, Bob Chapek for everything that happened here. You know, the move to Disney Plus, uh, quality over quantity, no, quantity over quality, putting the messaging and everything like that. That was all Chapek's fault. That wasn't my fault. That wasn't me that caused any of that. That was all Chapek, guys. He said, per the times, I worked hard at distancing myself from it. From it. Well, on on that note, you know what in reality happened? Uh, while the whole Florida parental rights and education bill was going on, that a lot of people like to forget bring up because that is the most explicit time when Disney decided to step step into state politics, not just the politics in general, but state politics and a state bill. Before, after Bob Iger, uh, not Bob Iger, Bob Chapek said, hey, we're going to stay out of this and everything. Right before all the, the woke karate came out to chastise him and the board came down to chastise him, one of the other people, the guy who was uh, the head of the board of the time, actually came out to, to make his own statement. Disney's ex-CEO, Robert Iger, criticizes Florida's don't say uh, parental rights and education bill. It's about right and wrong. This came out right in between everything, right after Chapek said what he had to say. Then you had the whole Chapek debacle. Then you no, but right before the Chapek debacle, this comes out. Then you have the Chapek debacle. Then you get the hostage video. This is the head of the executive board coming out and making a statement a man who was still in the exact same office a man who was still working at disney being paid by disney doing stuff over at disney and i just dropped one of my remotes this is what he had to say i sh you were well aware of what this ended up meaning as well because che peck at the time said hey we're staying out of it we're staying out of it you as executive board you as former ceo you as essentially guys still running disney at the time had this to say it's about right and wrong he added to me it wasn't a politics it was what is right and, and what is wrong and just seemed wrong it seemed potentially harmful to kids this is him chastising the idea that there should be a bill for a don't uh, parental rights you guys don't need parental rights or anything like this this is him stepping into politics himself okay this is who this guy is doing but he's throwing chapek under the bus saying no oh, it was all his fault that we got involved in this it was all his fault and to make matters worse he's now coming out here saying this this comes from uh, benny johnson the same to uh the earlier video i played also comes from benny johnson but yeah this from the horse's mouth again Disney CEO Bob Iger on wokeness permeating Disney uh, company. That should not be the objective. When I came back, what I've really tried to do is return to our roots, which is to remember we have to e entertain first. It's not about messages. I don't want to tolerate the opposite. Aw, it's not about messages, guys. It's not about messages. Even though this is the exact same thing he's been saying ever since he's come back, we're going to get away from messages, guys. We're going to focus more on quality, more on quality, no more messaging, no more messaging, no more messaging, even though it all started under you. It all started under this man. This man is what brought it in. This man is what helped prolificate it. This man actually supports it. And now he is being left hanging with the bill. He thought he could pin everything on Chapek, but the reality is this is all his doing. He can't blame it on COVID. Okay. COVID is 2019, 2020 era. Do you argue 2021? But in reality, that's 2020, 2021. Okay. It's 2023. On top of that, Chapek's long gone. You're in charge right now. The buck stops with you. Why haven't you implemented this quality initiative sooner? Why haven't you done that sooner? You could have done it under JPEG. You could have done it before you even stepped out. But no, you want to blame all of Disney's issues on JPEG because you 
can't handle and you can't come out and admit that all the current situations in Disney fall at your feet. This is why Nelson Peltz is trying to get back in and that activist investor is trying to take over Disney. This is, well, not take over Disney, but get uh, spots on the board. This is why he's teaming up with Ike Perlmutter to try to get in there and help redirect Disney because they know what's wrong with Disney. They know what's actually sour with Disney, but the buck does the buck sucks with the CEO right now, but it's not just the CEO. It's the executives. It's the employees. It's every ounce of Disney seeping downwards. Okay. It's a top down structure. All the up top allow this to come in. They believe in it and they're the reason it's falling apart, but I'm going to leave it there, guys. Let me get you guys' thoughts on all this down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, share it out, friends, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live, guys, and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye for now. What's going on, guys? Listen, it's Christmas season coming up, and you know what makes great gifts? That's right, Coffee Brand Coffee. Coffee Brand Coffee makes wonderful gifts, and guess what? They don't just have great coffees, teas, and cocos. They also got gear, they got K-Cups, and also they got wonderful gift boxes. Gift boxes that include all sorts of wonderful, great goodies. You got chocolate covered coffee beans, raspberry yogurt pretzel twists, sea salt milk chocolates, caramel. You got chocolate covered coffee beans, peppermint hot cocoa, spicy and sweet treat mixes, kettle corn pop, premium vacuum travel tumblers, and all sorts of wonderful great stuff that you can get at Coffee Brand Coffee. And these make great Christmas gifts. So guys, please check out coffeebrandcoffee.com and use promo code BACKTACO at checkout to get 10% off your purchase. That's coffeebrandcoffee.com, promo code BACKTACO.